Hello and welcome back to Let's Translate. In this video, I will be continuing on with the Yotsuba manga. Um, so over on this side here, I have all the manga. So I'll zoom in and when I'm explaining something, I'll point it out. And during this video, I'm going to be going ahead and pointing out all of the vocabulary and grammar in this manga and explaining how that translates into English. And underneath me, you'll see, like when we get started, I'll be copying pasting all the definitions down there. So if you can't hear anything or like, like if you didn't hear it really well or if you just like it's going too fast for you, you can pause and like, you know, see it in plain text. <laughs> Okay, so in Yotsuba, where we last left off here, um, they've all gone out to buy cake. So there's the three of them. Little Yotsuba, her neighbor Ana, and Ana's friend Yuda. And then the other shopkeeper. <laughs> so they're all like right now, they're trying to pick out which cake they want. So... So Yotsuba, she's like, na, na. This na is just like, it's kind of like the sound, na. <laughs> it's, you know, um, emotion or emphasis here. Um, next, she's all like, kore zenbu nei-chan ga tsukutta no ka? So, kore means this. Um, and she's talking about like all the cakes. And then zenbu is all or entire, so yeah, kore zenbu, all of these cakes. <laughs> and then this ne, it means like older sister, but you can also use it as kind of like someone who's older than you and it's kind of a familiar way to talk to them. Especially because she has like chan attached to it too, which is like a very kind of familiar, cute way to, like a, a cute suffix to use with someone. Um, cause like a suffix in Japanese is kind of like Mr. or Mrs. or Miss in English, but they kind of have a lot more. Cause San is the kind of more vanilla one, just for Mr. But this Chan here is like a cutesy one for people who are kind of lower than you in status. So like if you call your boss Chan, it might not go over well, but it depends on your relationship, I guess. And then this guy here makes that the subject of the sentence, so nechan is now the subject, she's what we're talking about. And then this tsukutta right here is the past form of tsukuru, which means like to make, to produce, or to manufacture. And to make that into its past form here, you would take the ru from tsukuru and change it to a tiny tsu and this ta. So tsukuru yom tsukutta. So like was made. And then this no is like kind of giving it an explanatory tone. She's like, you know, I'm asking this of you. And then this ka is making it into a question. So it's like, oh, kore zenbu nei-chan ga tsukutta no ka? Like, did you make all of these? <laughs> and then she's like, no. Tsukutta no wa watashi janai no. So, skutta, this is the same skutta from before, but you see, like, we have the kanji here versus Yotsuba doesn't. Like, in the manga, like, Yotsuba, kind of, like, even the character she uses is kind of more kidified, which is pretty cute. <laughs> so, um, this is the same skutta, and this no here is nominalizing it. It's like when you have this no wa together, the no nominalizes and then the wa makes that the topic of a sentence. And like nominalizing just means like it makes it a noun. So like the thing of making as for that. <laughs> like watashi is I or me. And then janai is no. Is not, I am not, not me. And then we have this explanatory no again. So it's like mm, the one who made it is not me. So she's like, Ja, chef ka? Ja is like, then, well then. So it's like, oh. And then chef, 
this is English. That's why here this is in katakana, and then this is in hiragani, hiragana, um, because shefu is an English loan word, and they always use like a katakana for those, at least usually. And then this ka makes that into a question. So it's like, oh, is there a chef here? Like, chef ka, skutta no ka? Did the chef make it? So this ga is making that chef the subject of the sentence. So we're talking about the chef. And then we got this skutta again. So much tsukuru. So, you know, it's like, um, it's just, it was made or it produced or like baked. So like the chef cooked it and then this no ka is kind of endorsing and questioning the preceding statement. <laughs> so it's kind of just pretty much making it into a question. So it's like, oh, the chef made it, did he? <laughs> and it's like, etto, um, it's just kind of like, uh, or well, and then so da. <laughs> She's like just going along with that. Um, so it's kind of like, I almost think it's easy to think of so is just kind of the same as so in English. It's like, is that so or that so? And then yo is just adding some emphasis here. So it's like, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it is. And then yotsuba's all, suge. And this is actually sugoi. And just has like a bit of an accent here. I think um, both Yotsuba and her dad have something of a Kansai accent in this manga. So she's all like, Suge, Sugoi, it's awesome. <laughs> and then Shefu again. And then Kai, that, yeah, Kaiyo, this Ka is making it into a question. And then Yo adds emphasis. So, oh, Shefu Kana, oh, there's a Shef. Thank you. We have, it's like, ah, watashi, so watashi kore, kono chocolate keiki kudasai. So, watashi means I or me. And then this kore, it's the same we've seen before, which means this, or like what she's pointing to. And then, kono is also this. <laughs> so like this, this chocolate cake. <laughs> and then chocoretto, yeah, chocoretto and cakey are both, well, they're just the English. <laughs> so again, we have that katakana here indicating that these are loan words. And then kudasai is please give me or please do that for me. This is kind of a good example of how you can ask to order anything in Japan. A lot of times, if you're not sure how to say it, you just point and say, Kore! Kore onigashimasu! Or, Kore kudasai! And they'll understand and know that that's what you want to buy. <laughs> and then she's all like, Hi! Yes! So, Miura, which is her name. Dore da? So, dore is which? And then da is like be or is or like polite imperative. So it's pretty like like which one? Which one do you want, Miura? And then kore kore, the same kore from here, which means this. So she's like pointing out this one. It's like oh, she's like all surprised. <laughs> it's like ta 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 ta, kuro ka. So kuro means black. And yeah, I assume if it's chocolate, it's probably got black parts on it. And then ka makes that into a question. <laughs> Next we're like, Miura wa? Eto, chikkoi kedo, igaito, otona dana. So Miura is her name. And then wa makes Miura the topic of the sentence. And then this, eto, chikkoi. Kind of like very small or like kind of small thinking. <laughs> like she's kind of a small person. Well, I guess it might be her height too. And then kedo 
his butt, however, Igaito, which means unexpectedly, Otona, which is adult, and then Dana. Da here is like the B or is or the imperative. And then this Na is adding emotional emphasis. So she's like, ah, oh, you're so short, you're so small, but you're unexpectedly adult. <laughs> you're like way more mature than I thought. It's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. she's like, ah, what? Eina, which is this girl right here. Eina wa dore ni shita? So we have the wa particle again, making eina the topic of the sentence. And then this dore, again, that we've seen a bunch. So that's like which one. And then ni is indicating the direction or goal. So like to which one, which one are you going to pick? And the shita, this is the past form of sudu, which means to do. Um, and sudu is an irregular verb. So sudu becomes shita, and you just kind of have to memorize that one. So that's like did. So like, which one did you do <laughs> kind of thing? Or like, which one did you pick? Do, gonna do one more. <laughs> Them eyes. Anna, she's got cat eyes. It's like, ah, oh, ka. Like, understand, see things. Then, kore, this one. Kore wo onegaishimasu. And this is kind of interesting because she's using kudasai. Uh, she's using Onegaishimasu. Ena tends to use very polite speech. So for this, kore is again <laughs> this, this is this. And then o makes that the direct object, so we're doing something to this. And then onegaishimasu is please. So like please, this one. Oh man. I've had those before, they're so good. <laughs> So that is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you guys learned a lot about ordering things and hopefully you're not getting sick of cake. I think we still have some more cake left. But thanks for watching. Subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Matane.